that Max B, son. What you know about Max B, son? What you know about Max B, son? All that wave he brought to the game? You better give him some respect when he come home, son, huh? That's the wavy, man. At the end of the day, top five, dead or alive, man. You heard? Easy. I put him in a ring with 50. I put him in a ring with Tupac. I put him in a ring with Biggie. I just put him in a ring. I just put him in a ring. And he gonna do his thing. You dig what I'm saying? That's the bigger bell right there, man. Listen, people. At the end of the day, man, everybody talk my IG battles, man. Put my boy Max Bigger Veil in the ring with 50, Tupac, Biggie, and I guarantee you smoke him. Easy. You see what I'm saying? I debate anybody on that. Come to the page, man. Come to the page, man. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a little peachy right there, baby. We got a great show today, man. We got a great show, man. My boy, Tory Lanez. You see what I'm saying? Exposed. Woo, he exposed, Megan. The fraud hood rat astounding. You see what I'm saying? He exposed her. And we gonna break it down. I got video. I got footage. I got audio. My boy, Tory Lanez exposing that hood rat, man. And I can't wait. Listen. Wait for a second. We gonna be lit tonight, man. We gonna do some things tonight, man. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, I want you guys to understand something. We about to go live on my other page in about 20 minutes. You see what I'm saying? If you don't know, it ain't for you. If you know, I see you over there. You see what I'm talking about? Mm. It's Friday night, man. We gonna get lit. But we gotta expose Megan for the fraud that she is, man. We just gotta expose her. Because we got young children out there. We got young females out there. We got single mothers out there that are listening to her and trying to play the victim role just like her. You see what I'm saying? We, we gonna get into all that, man. Hold on for a second. Let me get a little shot of this thing right here. You heard? Go peachy. <laughs> Oh, she said Black Lives Matter, so I put my black on. When the last time you seen Megan talk about Black Lives or anything that got anything to do with Black Lives Matter, man? She capping, man. She capping for the people, man. And we're going to expose her tonight. You dig? Listen. What we want to know, what we need to know, is what actually happened. If you're going to come out with an IG post talking about the situation, explaining yourself, calling yourself exposing my boy, right? Then you should give some information that's gonna actually expose him other than snitch. Because you're the new 6ix9ine, basically. I hear a lot of guys, a lot of YouTubers talk about, well, she's a female, she's allowed. No, you're not allowed. First of all, this is the culture. You see what I'm saying? You can't just uh, talk about it in your music, move and shake with thugs, and call yourself a gangster, right? Taking it from the bag, you know what I mean? Choking yourself with the joint and things of this nature, putting out crazy videos, influencing my young black sisters, and then you run around when things get hot and you start snitching. Nah, that's not what it is. Just because you're a female, that doesn't mean you get away with all that. I'm not with that. But at the end of the day, she came out talking about Black Lives Matter. And the reason why she didn't expose them on site was because cops were killing black people at an alarming rate. And she was trying to protect him. So what happened? Because Tory Lanez never came out. He never came out and said, yo, this, that, and the third, boom, bang, boom. We know from the grapevine. We know from little nuggets he was dropping to the media. You see what I'm saying? I'm one of the people that got direct sauce. You see what I'm saying? To the person that know everything that went down. Now, my point is this. First of all, we got visuals. We got audio of everything that Tory Lanez had to say in rebuttal to what Megan Thee Stallion didn't say. Right? Because it's all about what she didn't say. And that's what we're going to expose today. You see what I'm talking about? Now, Megan came on and she said... That uh, she wasn't angry that he was trying to holler at the Kardashian. She also said that she didn't hit him in the car that caused her to get her shot, her foot shot off. And that uh, he didn't smash before the party. So she said a, a few different things. But she never said what actually happened. But where she went wrong is that she said they were arguing. 
And then she walked off and left her homegirl in the car. What are y'all arguing about? Y'all yeah, was just at a pool party, chilling, drinking, relaxing. You understand what I'm talking about? So she left all that out and talk about all the things that she did to boost herself up and then try to play victim at the same damn time. Good God. You see what I'm talking about? Like how you play victim, then talk about how you was trying to hold him down. What I want to know is what changed, right? Because, yeah, he gave nuggets to the people so the people could have something to say, so the people could set this record straight. But he never came out physically and verbally and say, yo, this is what happened. And it made you look bad. He didn't do that. You are the one that's looking foolish. You are the one that's looking suspect. You are the one that supposedly got shot in your foot, but you out there dying. You out there turking. You out there taking it down your throat. You out there putting out videos destroying my people, my young black sisters, especially my young single mothers out there that need better inspiration than what you bring to the table. And before we get into that, I got some females that came to the page on my other videos. Those videos went viral and all that. 150,000, 250,000, 350,000. They rocking with your boy. You see me? You see what I'm talking about? Because at the end of the day, yeah, I got the direct sauce to your boy. You see me? But at the end of the day, I'm talking facts to the black female. She got mad. I got about 10 females came to the page. We're going to get back to it, but this correlates. Because what you females don't understand, right, is that I'm not here to cater. I'm here to talk the truth. You see what I'm talking about? When I say you don't call her Kylie, you call her the Kardashian. She doesn't have a first name. She's an icon. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So my boy, Tory Lane, tried to holler. You got to respect that he understands levels to this game. And at the end of the day, Megan moving and shaking. She showed everything she got. We seen it from the back. We seen it from the front. We seen what that throat be like. There's nothing else that we want. And that is what I'm trying to explain to the females, the black females out there. You can't be giving it up like that, bro. Because if you giving it up, you know, we good. We've seen it all. We're looking for something to chase. We're looking for something that holds value. And the Kardashian, she holds value. You don't see her out there moving and shaking and popping and dropping it like that. You see what I'm talking about? But we'll get to that in the end of the video because I got audio on all that. With Kylie, because you want to see her first name, I call her the Kardashian, saying the very thing that I'm saying. It's a difference between Megan and the Stallion. And it ain't just the color of their skin. So a black female came to the page and said, it'll take a black dude to, to, to uh, ride with a white female over a black female. You tripping, shorty. You tripping. I love black females. I love them black chocolate. I love them that you can't. I love black. I can't. I don't want to even be able to see the black female that I'm dating. I like so chocolate and dark. You see what I'm saying? You can turn the light off. You can see the teeth. That's all I like right there, baby. I'm like the guard. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm high on the fact that you got the eyelashes on, makeup on, lipstick, nails, hair, weave. So turn the light off. You can just, just, just what it is. A point is this, right? You got to understand that Megan Thee Stallion is trying to play the victim card. Real talk. She's trying to play the victim card, people. And what we can't do is allow her to do that because that's going to give these other females, these other black young females, especially the single mothers out there, she's giving them the rope to hang themselves, right? Anything that you do that's negative, anything that you do that involves something gangster, and when something gangster actually happens, you try to fall back like you a female and we unprotected. Nah, we not with all that. Take those lashes off so you can see better. You see what I'm saying? What she didn't say is what they were arguing about. And that's what he is saying. He's saying, look, think about it. What were we arguing about? We were in the pool. We was having a good time. We was drinking. I smashed Megan before the party. That's my train of thought, man. You see what I'm saying? You know? That's my daughter right there. She just called me. She just, you know what I mean? Dropped off. She out there in the university, college, being a doctor. You see what I'm saying? We trying to produce. We trying to produce legends in the black community. You see what I'm saying? But I told them I'm doing a video on Megan the Bird. She's like, do your thing. Then I'll show you my campus. I'll show you. You dig my dome and all that. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, give me two seconds. Mm. 
Listen, man. But what's up? We trying to help the people. We trying to, you know, put, get in the minds of the black single mothers and the young black girls so they don't end up like Megan. But what she didn't say is what actually happened. And your boy Tony Lane's like, listen, you dig? The facts are simple. The facts is not that complicated, right? I smashed it before the party. At the end of the day, me and Megan was cool. We got to the party. Everybody seen us taking pictures, doing videos. Something had to happen. Megan didn't explode. She didn't disclose that to the people. She didn't disclose that to the people. Explode. That's not even a word. She didn't disclose that to the people. And, and, and that should tell you that there's a problem. That should tell you that she's leaving something out. And also the fact that she said that she was trying to protect them. Well, what happened? Right? You didn't see Tory Lanez on IG. You didn't see Tory Lanez give a full statement. Verbally, face to face with somebody or for Dolo, he kept it gangster like a G supposed to do. He gave nuggets out to the people so they can keep his name clean. But at the end of the day, right, we got to understand something. We have to look at everything that went down. These are celebrities. So this is the reason why we're talking about them, right? But we want honesty from our celebrities. We want the truth from our celebrities. We put money in their pockets. And these black females that's coming to my page, they lost. You can tell they're lost because of, of the things they say to me. You, you hating on her. Hating on her for what? All she out there doing is selling poison to my peoples. She's not uplifting the single black mother. She's not uplifting the young black girl that think that you did. You know, college, high school college, success, her role to success, whatever that may be. That's not what it is. It's all about dropping it like it's hot, shoot everything you got, make sure you get paid for what you do. You see what I'm saying? And deep throat that thing if you have to. <laughs> deep throat that, you see what I'm saying? And I'm like, thank you, Megan. <laughs> thank you, Megan. You see what I'm saying? Because when I go out tonight and I bring the shit back to the crib, all I gotta do is put on that Megan. <laughs> Put that Megan on and she gonna drop it. <laughs> put that, you think, put that Cardi on and she gonna drop it. You see what I'm saying? And then she gotta get out. <laughs> Far Rock America, stand up. <laughs> Don't make me take this jacket off, Playboy. <laughs> Don't make me take this jacket off, Playboy. <laughs> we looking for the weight bully. <laughs> we looking for Earl the weight bully. <laughs> we looking for the weight bully. ESPN or nothing, cash, lots of talk, go subscribe to the channel, man, I'm back, baby, I'm back, baby, holla at your boy.